Chancellor and member of the Guyana University, uh, Mr. Chairman, if I can call you, and Mr. Moderator, if I understand you're going to support us. Uh, dear panelists, I'm very pleased first, it's a very uh, nice gender balance. I can see four and four, so I look forward to an interesting debate. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, let me congratulate first the University of Guyana and the partners for another round of TT Talks, if you allow me to call them TT Talks. Uh, this session today is quite stimulating, uh, dedicated to an important topic, the constitutional reform. Um, I will bring three uh, ideas. Voices of Youth, first ID. Uh, why UNICEF is supporting uh, this debate is also remind, reminding us, stimulating debate on critical issues, but also that uh, we have the opportunity to remind us that the youth and the uh, children and the youth, and I understand there is also a representation of the youth national, um, uh, I believe it's, you call it here, the um, council, if I understand correctly, Ms. Davis. Uh, and also to remember that today the young, young people are the leaders of tomorrow and they will um, benefit hopefully from the constitutions in the right way. Therefore, this is really important we ensure the rights and the needs are also reflected and also to stimulate what we call it cognitive development and stimulation and conversation and we all still you know, be a child in ourselves some way on the other way. And uh, it's worth recalling also how important it is to have them uh, part of the process and the product as well. In uh, second idea, food for thought, some food for thought vis-a-vis -vis the constitutions. Allow me to bring a couple of elements, and I'm definitely not entering the debate, but leave on to the panel to do so. But it might be interesting to look at three areas when it comes to young, and, um, young people and uh, new generation. Uh, at the time the Constitution was revised, or at least in the process, it was around the 90s, Guyana didn't ratify at that time. The, um, so the Convention of the Right of the Children was ratified, but you have additional two protocols that you may be mindful of. And so that was not reflected yet in the Constitution. So hopefully that will be one element to reflect those. For those who may know, the two protocols is one on sale of children, <coughs> child prostitution and child pornography, and the second is on involvement of children in armed forces, armed groups or gangs. And the conversation can be around as well on the age of youth and young people, and there's a lot of debate on age certification, and uh, I understand it's part of, you know, 15, 16, 18, and as you know, the CRC and those protocols are reminding us is about 18. Below, you're still a child, and you should be treated sometime more as a victim than as a perpetrator. There's a lot of conversation around that age situation. Same for birth registration, and same for age certification. Whether, second ID, food for thought, whether the constitution is sufficiently um, based is for the, some good, important legislation and reform. And here, reference is made to the second part of the constitution when you have uh, ensured that you have a little more pro-child explicit languages around child protection that maybe think of a little more pushy. Third, um, food for thought is participation. And I do hope child and youth participation will be part of the process and the project. UNICEF and partners, and again, thank you, Chancellor, to reminding the long history and Vice Chancellor too, of the journey together. Uh, we do have a five-year agreement uh, cooperation with Guyana in Guyana, and we're working very much with all the stakeholders that are pushing the agenda for uh, children and, and also the issue around children. We have initiated support to ensure the issues are in part of the process of the constitutional reform and the product. We have initiated some support uh, through um, government, but also non-government partners. And we hope that it will bring a little more stimulation to the revision of the constitutions. In conclusion, I would like to congratulate again the Guyana, University of Guyana on its work. And I thank the chancellor for this leadership and the strategic cooperation together. I will conclude in saying one little word. It takes a village to raise a child. And today, I wish all you productive discussion and uh, collective efforts to um, raise the Guyana nation. Thank you so much.